Ah, your, your, the people are looking for you. I don't know where they want to. I don't know what they want to do with you. But since you want to go, I will have to allow you. So I was taken to the uh, our high commission in Lagos. Then the following day, they put me on a plane. I had written, before I left, I had written an article in support of the, the, the change of government. And so they had, this is cool. Yes, they had published it in uh, the local paper there, in Nigeria. Calabar. Yeah. So the security, the Nigerian intelligence took it. They quickly knew that I had been invited to come. So they were following me. And they followed me when they took me from the High Commission to the airport to take the flight. They followed me and then when they checked my luggage into the hole, they went and cut the, one of my bags and remove all documents in the bag, including that newspaper and other documents, and took nothing else. I got only to Accra, and then when the soldiers took me to the VVI launch for my things, they, they went to the plane, the, this, in this dispatch uh, room to bring our luggage. They came and said, Masa, your, one of your bags get accident. <laughs> so I cut the thing, and I said, well, since I've arrived, no problem. Anyway, that's how they took me and went to Bema Camp, I mean, Bema Camp, yes, and I was interviewed. Then I was appointed uh, secretary or minister in charge of uh, Northern Region. By Rollins? Yes. Uh, well, by the PNDC, not by Rollins. Okay. So how did he... How did they come by that conclusion that you were the right person for the secretary? In fact, they had appointed all the secretaries, especially the regional secretaries, and left with northern region and eastern okay. region, okay. two difficult regions. And they said that I was the one who could handle northern region. So that's why they were waiting, they were looking for me day and night. Because of my activities as NUC secretary, mm. and after that, I mean, I continued. So that's how come, because there was this endemic uh, Abudu uh, and Dani problem, that chieftaincy problem. So it was then? Yes, it was then. Oh, that, that I was very popular in, in northern region. It was because of these things that he, uh, he Idrisu, uh, Aruna Idrisu and others used to make me make the Gombas turn against me. When I was appointed, I assumed duty in Tamale uh, around 4 p.m. on the, on the uh, 5th of February. No, I was appointed 5th. I took office 8th February. And that day, in fact, uh, Chris had asked that we should do a few things in Accra before I would leave. I was there when uh, soldiers came to the hotel, the now Golden Tulip. It used to be called Continental Hotel. Okay, the one in That's where I was staying. Okay. So the soldiers came there looking for me, and that chairman said they should bring me. So it took me to Gonda Barracks to go and see uh, Rawlings. When I went, he said, eh, you are late. Yes, we even they looked for me. I wasn't coming. Now they have come. They have appointed me. I'm not going. There is problem in Tamale. I must go and take my bag and come and go. And the presidential jet was running, waiting for me. So they took me back to the hotel. I picked my bags. And then I was alone in the presidential jet with some bodyguard, some small boy like that, from Fravra <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Plus the pilot and his uh, co-pilot. Oh, that's all. We were the only, and the jet took off. By that time, at 4 a.m., they had set the Tamale market, Central Market, on fire. fire. When I got to Tamale around 4 p.m., the fire was still rage, raging. Now, Idrisu, uh, 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 Idrisu uh, Haruna Idrisu and others managed to convince the government that I set the fire. And I said, no. I arrived at Haruna the place Idrisu at 4 p.m. Okay. The fire started at 4 a.m. And it's because of the fire that Rawlings made the soldiers look for me and dispatched me with the presidential jet to come and take steps to stop the, the nonsense that was going on there. Because at that time, he now realized that 
I was somebody who could do that. Mm. So I came in, when I got to Tamale, the place, the had, soldiers had surrounded the tarmac. I came down, they took me, they didn't allow me to sit in a car. They put me in their truck, Peace Goa, at the back, mm. as if I was under arrest, with guns all over like this. And we started from the airport to the regional office. And crowds started pull that the new, the new minister was coming. The crowds started forming on the road side. I got there and I took office. And I warned people that I'm not coming here to do children's matters. I'm coming to do revolution. I'm coming here to do revolution. So uh, my working hours will be uh, from uh, 8 a.m. to 12 midday. I will go and have lunch. And I will come back at 2 o'clock. And I'll close at 5. If you want to see me, you can see me from 8 to 12, and then from 2 to 5. five. The periods outside these hours are my private hours. I'm going to be in my, my house, the house they uh, assigned to me. Mm. I don't want anybody there. I don't want anybody there. You come to the, my house at your own risk. People were shaking. And I warned the police that, look, you, uh, police commander, I understand that you are doing this. I'm not going to tolerate that. <laughs> Small boy, I was 32. So we started. Every night, they will shoot people. Tamale has five garrisons, five different, different garrisons, so, so they lies. You will be there, I will be there eating the call. They've shot somebody at the hospital side. I will rush there. You won't know the which soldier. When they shoot, they will just go away. The soldiers are, were killing people? Yes, yeah, they were shooting people by heart. And I was going around picking people into the hospital. And me, because I will appear there and they will have to run away. So it was like that. I battled and battled and battled. The soldiers that were deployed to Tamale. This, the, I said that I'm telling you that Tamale has five garrisons. Okay. Garrisons are so, uh, uh, military camps. Yes. We have Kamina Barracks. Okay. We have uh, Airborne Force. We have Air Force. We have Airborne Force and we have Air Force. No, we have Airborne Force and Air Force. They are together at the, at the Mile 9. That's mm -hmm. what they call Mile 9. Then we have... Uh, 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 there's one around the stadium. Yeah. No, airborne and air force are two separate. So we are five. So they, they, not that anybody deployed them. Okay. They were lawless. And I was, they were confront, they were, I was confronting them all the time. They said, you civilian, you were in Nigeria and they were saying, no, no. If you take the plane from Lagos and you are coming to Accra, Another person takes the plane from Tamale and going to come into Accra. You arrive at the same time. If the plane are going to, is going at the same speed, it's 45 minutes from Tamale to Accra. It's 45 minutes from Lagos to Accra. I was in Lagos, and you were in Tamale, and the fighting was taking place in Accra. You didn't take part. <laughs> you were, you were, and then after people have fought in Tamale and in Accra and removed the government, then you are sitting in Tamale here claiming that you took part. You didn't take part like how I didn't take part. So this thing you are talking about. So finally Rollins himself had to come. Uh, Send me a message that he was coming to the location. So I prepared for him. We all met at the Air, uh, the air Force station, the airport. Uh, then he came. He, uh, the plane arrived. Everybody came down. Army, uh, Army commander, Air Force commander, blah, blah. And then he, Chachu Chikata, came down. Then he now came down. And when he was coming down from the plane, he was holding a cutlass and uh, a book entitled The Wretched of the Earth, written by one author called Franz Fanon. So I was wondering what that meant. Anyway, I, we received him and we moved to the hangar where they parked the planes. Mm. They, we organized a meeting there. So people, Akatapure was there. I mean, you've heard of Akatapure, Alolga Akatapure. He was <laughs> A-R-A, 
when that uh, Accra number, mm. vehicle number, ARA, yeah. that series, uh, it was the uh, Accra people were saying that ARA meant after Rollins Akatapuri. <laughs> 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 after Rollins Akatapuri. So Katapuri spoke, spoke, I gave the welcome address, then they all spoke. Then Rollins got up now, he was good. He was sitting on a hard chair. He decided, we gave him these chairs, he said no, we gave him this uh, primary school seat chair, yeah. uh -huh. wooden chair. Yeah. So he was sitting on that. Then he got up and he started talking his usual dis incoherent, you know, statements. Then he said, turned and said, this, I have, they've been giving this regional minister enough trouble. You've been giving this young man enough trouble. And so if that is what all this revolution is all about, let's forget it. Then he struck the chair with the cutlass and split it in two. Then there was dead silence. Then he started breathing, wah, 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 and sat down. That's how the lawlessness stopped internally. Um, so before we come to how you...